welcome back to Fallout 3. I'm the Blues 32, and last we left off... Oh yes, we were going to go rescue the uh, big town captives from the super mutants. That's exactly what was happening. Oh. Fantastic. Kill your face. Why is the super mutant have ant meat? Be quiet. I'm gonna need something a little bigger than this. Maybe not bigger so much as just harder hitting by my standards. Let's see. Yeah, no. Yeah, when did I get puppy? Just in case it doesn't, the, uh, thingy doesn't work. You know? Hello? Off you go. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. Look, I don't have... Nah, you'll need them more than I will. You'd know best, wouldn't you? 
It's unlikely that her supplies would have been of any use to me. I really want to find whatever I need uh, these darts for. Having darts would be lovely. A dart gun, rather, would be lovely. Don't you agree? Of course you do. this hmm? Paul it's me Tina I heard back from my sister Candace we couldn't get into a vault 101 87 didn't matter all full to capacity but my brother Alex is a soldier and he sort of stole the passcode for a secure army bunker he did it for the family but they caught him. Before they took him into custody, Alex, he sent us each one number of the four-digit code. That way we all have to be together to get in. He gave me number five, the day of my birth. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm still leaving. It's been fun, kind of. Oh, and I'm not pregnant, so no worries. Not entirely sure what just happened there. Mm -mm. Curses, I've been spotted. dare you. Sheesh, how far away was this place? Who are you? Oh, it's just a, just a stupid bot. How does Fats work? Now that I'm thinking about it. Is it my pit boy? Do I have ocular implants? Holy shit!
Which is fine, really. It wasn't my biggest concern in the first place. Now, what sees me now? Oh, it's just a blowfly. Walk away, bud. Bloatfly. Walk away. Something on my compass, but I can't see anything. Oh. Hi. Those things are disgusting. What are they, anyway? What is dog meat growling at? Oh ho. We have arrived. That dog really needs to settle down. He's going to attract unwanted attention. creature. Nice. 
what do we have here? We were mobilized in the early evening. My security clearance is high enough to know this is on official level, but I have it on good authority that we are under threat of Chinese attack. I don't dare to share this with the girls. Most of them are a solid sort, but I can't trust that some of them won't desert to try and protect themselves or their families and wind up spreading panic, especially on flimsy rumor based on flimsier intelligence from DOD. We haven't been debriefed yet, but it's probably safe to assume that we'll be on evacuation detail in the rural, rural areas. Our unit scored somewhat poorly in the last round of drills, and the high flyers always get the urban details. We'll be stuck herding farmers and hermits in the hills. This can't be happening. We don't even know if it was the Chinese, but DC was hit. My god! Andrea's unit was on evac detail right on the belt loop. Dear god, more bombs. What's happening? Our unit has been signed to... Okay. Our unit has been signed to a National Guard detachment. They drove all night from Pennsylvania. We're doing our best to keep the survivors placated while these boys get their strength up. The looting gets worse every day, and it's... It's a small town. There can't be much left, and there's already been one scuffle in the canteen. These guardsmen arrived just in... These gar guardsmen arrived just in time, I fear. Dolores and Rebecca deserted in the night. They had the goodness not to rob us blind on their... on her way out. I had trusted Becky with the keys to the canteen, and the... Art... Desan, well... Well, we locked up on day one. And the art is in well. Okay, we locked up on day well. Ze several of our survivors were talking rubbish about seeking refuge in a nearby vault. The girls must have decided to go with them. Damn fools. If anybody made it into those things in time, they bloody well aren't letting any of us in now. I suppose I should just be glad we have a few less mouths to feed. I took the NCO's advice and set up a quarantine for the worst of the radiation victims. We know better than to think they're contagious, but most of our survivors don't, and it helps them calm. Helps keep them calm. We also have an easier time smuggling the bodies out at night. It's not so much that people die, it's how they look when they go. They all think they're just losing a bit of hair, maybe a rash. It just gets so much worse than that. We're low on Prussian blue. Most of them don't really know what that means, for which I'm thankful. One of the local doctors in our camp knows about a cancer treatment facility not too far from here. We're sending some of our guardsmen out to investigate. To recover any... Phil... Phil Grestim, we might be able to stave off widespread radiation sickness a little longer. These days I feel like more of a preacher than a nurse. We've lost hope that the reservists will be back. I can only hope they died with some scrap of honor and didn't abandon us. Without medication, people are succumbing to radiation sickness for which there is no hope of treatment. We can do nothing more than make our patients comfortable as we await the end. When painkillers and whiskey run out, prayer is all we can offer them. I've taken to wearing a head, strap, head wrap. I don't want anything to see how much my own hair has fallen out. I suppose it only seems right to say goodbye. I ought to know it's hopeless, but maybe one of my sisters is still out there and I couldn't go without leaving some kind of farewell. Just know that I did everything I could. I tried. And I only wish there I could have been the last to go, so I could have helped all the others before they met their own end. How tragic. a book. You can understand how I get confused. They both begin with B. Not sure where those bullets were being kept. Or if they were the ones I shot into him. That would be weird. I mean, obviously not the weirdest thing I've heard, but still.
If you can hear that noise in the background, that's my just my washer. Sorry, I need to do my laundry. Where's the front door? Ah, here it is. Right then. Where's the other door? I mean, I know there's a way in. Another centaur. I wonder how that happened. I don't think I shot him in the arm. Perhaps this will lead to where I want to go. Which is, you know, inside the police station. Phew, good. Oh, Ted, you've gone awfully quiet. Because when I fight you, I win. Why this stupid human always fights. Can't search that 
desk, apparently. Curses! Although that does tell me I need to start on the uh, little Start looking out for that sort of thing. Sort of thing. He says before walking right into a landmine. Why didn't you warn me? Turpentine. What's with the chemistry set? I thought this was a police station. Doesn't look like it was designed for forensics. that one just in time. experience, I will do both. There we are. Wrong button. Right, so. I think we'll call it a video here. I am the Blues32. This is... Uh, Fallout 3. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.